The enemy, it's out there. The enemy might be called many different names, and depending on where you live, it can take on many different forms. Here in eastern Pennsylvania, one of my enemies goes by the name Bamboo. My enemy is also the spiny scourge called Thistle. All kidding aside, year after year, I've pulled it, I've cut it, I've dug it, and it keeps coming back. So this year, we're just gonna whack it down, throw some landscaping cloth over it, and mulch over it, and we're gonna see if we can reclaim this part of the property that is just being overrun with the bamboo and the thistle. Now to do this, I've got my two hands, but that's just not enough. So we're gonna bring in the heavy guns, and this is a tool I've been using for the past two seasons, and I can't say enough good stuff about it. Let me show you what it is. This is the universal brush cutter attachment that I use on my string trimmer. The string trimmer is nothing fancy. It's a 29cc Craftsman. The string trimmer is part of a system that's universally adaptable to a wide variety of different accessories. Just to give you an idea, they have an edger, they have a blower, hedge trimmer, tiller, chainsaw, string trimmer, and other string trimmer. Instead of cutting with a string, you have this four-sided blade that spins at the same speed, and you're basically cutting in three different directions. So when I use this, I can push, I can cut from left to right, swiping this way, swiping that way, and I can push it forward. You can use this little tine that sticks out front to knock things out of the way to give you access for these blades to cut. And where string runs out, these blades just seem to keep going and going. If anything, this thing feels to have gotten sharper as I've used it. While the blade doesn't look very, very big, it really is enough to knock down a large area fairly quickly. So I'll show it to you in action. Changing attachments really couldn't be easier. You loosen the locking knob, you depress a release button, and just like that, the whole attachment comes off. Putting on a new attachment is just as easy. Put it in, making sure that the drive shaft engages and that the little release pops out. Tighten it down, and that's it. You're good to go. Now, before I start any clearing project, I do like to take a look at the land and see if there's any hidden surprises or uh, gems that I want to preserve. This is a bleeding heart, and they love shady areas here in the Northeast. So I'd like to preserve him. So before I start clearing, I'm gonna come over here and dig him out, put him in another container, and see if we can transplant him. I also found we have some hosta over here, and this was just blending in. It's been totally overwhelmed by the bamboo. You could see these invasive bamboo shoots coming up. So I'm going to mark him. And then if you'll notice, there are some little uh, baby scrub trees here. Uh, these can all go. I've got no love for these trees. They are all gonna come out as well. You also wanna watch out things like wild rose. Um, definitely this is gonna come out. It's no match for that brush cutter, but you do wanna watch it because if you're walking through these, these are quite thorny. The other thing you wanna scope out is just to make sure if you have brush that animals aren't living in it. There's snakes, there's little furry mammals, birds make nests. So if you wanna be considerate of nature, just come out here and take a look around for your own safety too. You don't wanna be bit by a snake or an angry critter. And look at that, there's more bleeding heart. Lots of bleeding heart.
Sometimes it might get a little bit out of balance. You just want to stop, make sure that it's clear that it didn't get wrapped around by a vine. Oh, and do this while it's off. So there you have it, just a quick review of this universal attachment brush cutter. Hey, it's not fancy, but it is functional. It just gets the job done. And is it fun to use? Yeah, it kind of is. You know, it's hard work, but it is very rewarding. So when you're all done doing the brush cutting, um, rake out, you can go back and do a second pass with the brush cutter, or you can switch to your string trimmer. Um, I think that once I get a nice tall glass of iced tea, I'm going to come back out here, put down some landscape cloth, and we're going to put our mulch on top of the landscape cloth, see if we can get a few seasons out of this newly cleared or almost cleared area. So for now, thank you again so much for watching. My name's Mike. The channel is Mike Fixed It. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Please leave your comments and questions down below in the section. You know what to do. Thank you for watching. Be good, be well, and be safe. And I will talk to you in the very next video. Bye-bye.